YouTube. This is Dave's Had Enough 187. This is another video to do with Hulk Hogan controversy. Saying the N word. My opinion. Well, my thoughts and opinion. And another video from Dave. And yeah, um, pretty much this is not a gaming video. And but before I get into all that, um, Shout out to the Aussie Gamer. He is one of my uh, subscribers. Uh, watches all my videos. Uh, I really do appreciate him always checking out the channel. He's a big Microsoft fan and he likes Nintendo. It's kind of odd, you know, I have him as a subscriber because he loves Nintendo so much. And a lot of you guys like think that I like hate Nintendo. But he's one that actually sees my side of things. But he is a Nintendo fan at heart. And he does love Microsoft. So yes, shout out to you, Aussie Gamer. Alright, <laughs> All right. first, uh, this is not um, a gaming video, like I said. Uh, this is just something I thought that I wanted to speak on because this is somebody that was in my childhood growing up. I was a big uh, fan of wrestling back in the day. I stopped watching it probably around the time, you know, when it started getting a little bit more you know, like a reality show, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it became into this, like, it went from wrestling to, like, a, like, I don't know what, like, you were watching, like, The Undertaker, and, uh, I think it was Diamond Dallas Page, and he was, I think it was, like, Diamond Dallas Page was stalking The Undertaker's wife or something, and he had a shrine, or was it Psycho Sid? I don't know which one. I think it was like Diamond Dallas Page. That's where that shit got weird for me. I was like, okay, this is out of wrestling. I mean, it used to be funny when you used to see some stuff happen at the end of Raw. You know, like Stone Cold would come in, drive the beer truck, you know, spray Vince McMahon down and shit like that. But it became more and more and more like a, like kind of like a reality show. And I just kind of... The whole wrestling aspect was like, you saw very little wrestling and more of like a TV show of like something totally different. It was like actually like, it wasn't wrestling no more. Alright, so pretty much you got Hulk Hogan right now and he has now a, supposedly I've heard it was a sex tape that has him saying nigger in it, you know. Um... I'm not going to sit here and say the N-word like an idiot and go, Oh, Dave, what would you say? I'm not racist. You all know that. Um, I talk to many people here on YouTube. I have many black friends in real life. Um, but uh, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with Hulk Hogan being fired for something that took place eight years ago. Um, and on top of that, not necessarily do I agree with what Hulk Hogan done. I don't think that's right. But, I don't agree that, you know, you can be recorded and, you know, under in a private conversation and it can be used against you. I, I don't agree with that, you know. And supposedly it was a, during a sex tape he said this. And now this audio is being used against him, you know. And I don't agree with that at all. That's the part I don't agree with. What Hulk Hogan did, I think, you know, he should suffer some consequence, like maybe be suspended or something, but not lose, like, if you really look at things, Hulk Hogan is the WWE at one time, at one time he was, now not so much, but if you think of back on past things that have took place with the WWE, it was Hulk Hogan, like, he, he made wrestling pretty much what it is today, and then Stone Cold and The Rock came in, and they kind of was like the next generation of what Hulk Hogan was. You know, them three dudes were a big part of wrestling. Hulk Hogan was pretty much the main, that was it back in the day. You had Andre the Giant, which was big. You had Ultimate Warrior. You had Ric Flair. You had all them. But Hulk Hogan was it. He was a big part of wrestling. And to take, you know, all his stuff away, his Hall of Fame and all this shit, take him out of video games, I don't agree with this. I don't think it's right. I mean, WWE does some fucked up shit. And then you have that tape where you see Vince McMahon actually on one of the Raws going by the, um, John Cena, I think it was, and he was sitting there, he's like, what's up, you know, talking all hood stuff, and then he goes, what's up, my nigga, and then walks by him, and you see Booger T there, but that's okay, you know, I, I don't understand, so they're against Hulk Hogan saying the word nigger, but nigga is all right, and that's one thing I've never understood, I have a lot of black friends, they'll sit there in rooms and call each other nigger all day long, and if you really hate a word, 
why are you going to say that word to each other? That's why I don't understand. And I even said that to many of my black friends, you know, and they just say, it's a black thing. <laughs> you know, so that's their thing, whatever. I don't care. I never understood that, but that's just me. Um, but I don't agree with all this. I don't think he should have his thing taken away, his whole, uh, you know, everything. He's pretty much his whole, you know, empire that he built, you know. Uh, you know, that's, that man has done a lot for wrestling, and that's pretty bad that they're, you know, pretty much doing them like that. You know, I could, I see many people do many of things that they get away with and just give an apology because they're a celebrity and move on. Now, they're stripping him out of, you know, pretty much everything, like, taking down a lot of his, you know, you know like, I mean, all kinds of shit that he's built as a wrestler, you know. I mean, pretty much making him like he's nothing, you know. Get the fuck out of here. This is Hulk Hogan we're talking about. I mean, that's ridiculous. When you think of wrestling, what's the first name that usually comes to mind? Hulk Hogan. I mean, come on. Anybody who watched wrestling when it was fucking good, it was Hulk Hogan, you know, when he was in his prime. Now, you know, wrestling, it's pretty much, in my eyes, it's over. <laughs> Anybody watching wrestling nowadays, I'm sorry, that's not wrestling. Wrestling, you go back in the 80s and, the, you know, the 90s. I was, even the 90s, early 90s, it was good. You know, even the late 90s, it wasn't too bad. But when it started getting into this whole, uh, you know, reality show, nothing that nothing really to do with wrestling. You're watching, like, a two-hour show, and about an hour and a half of it's like, you know pretty much a reality show and then, and then you got like half hour maybe 45 minutes of the show that's pretty much a rest you know wrestling it's just fucking crap um but that's my thoughts on this tell me what you think in the comments section like i said i know what he said it wasn't right i'm not saying that's right but i don't think he you can people can take a public conversation and be recorded we got people here on youtube that do that shit with skype calls and i don't i don't necessarily care for that that's why i got away from you know, one person I heard was doing that. I don't, I don't like when people do that. I don't like suspicion of that. You know, I don't want to be recorded in a Skype call when I'm talking to somebody. I, if I'm having a private conversation with somebody, it's a different story. You know, I don't want anything I'm telling on my personal life. If I'm talking to somebody getting, you know, played in a video. You know, I don't understand that. If you're talking about gaming or some shit like that, and you maybe like I had an incident one time with one of my friends here on YouTube, and I took a gaming conversation public, but it was not like... You know, before shit got bad, then it was a different story. I did take some things public after, you know, that person showed something mine that was public. You know, or I took it the wrong way or whatever. But that was the past. But I'm just saying, I don't think private conversations should be recorded. I don't. And I don't think they should be used against you either. That's just me. I don't think that's right. You can't even talk in your own home nowadays. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, you really look at this too. Okay. He's upset with something his daughter did, you know. Maybe that's how he grew up, whatever, you know. He's not on national TV saying that shit, you know, like Vince McMahon was. You know, even though it was a joke, you know, but they, they frowned upon that now that Hulk Hogan said it. But he, Vince McMahon can joke about it. I, I don't get that. But if I could see he was on TV and he was saying it openly... That's different. That's different if it was on actual TV. But this is in his, you know, this is a private conversation. Well, I don't know where this sex tape took place, but it could have been in his home or some somewhere private, you know, that wasn't national TV or nothing. So that's my take on it. Tell me what you say in the comments section. More videos come. Thank you, YouTube.